The morning of my ultrasound, I had read Turning Point's devotional, and the verse at the top of it was, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And I tell you, when I read that, it's like God pierced my heart and said, that verse is for you today. And I had no idea what was going to happen. My husband James and I had one child, and he was about one year old, and we very much wanted to have another child. So when we found out that we were pregnant with child number two, we were completely ecstatic. The pregnancy had been going very normally, all the same feelings that I had with the first pregnancy. We found out at the very, very end of the ultrasound that we were having a girl, and we left the ultrasound thinking that everything was normal and that the baby was healthy and, and all systems go. And that same day, later on in the afternoon, we received a phone call from my doctor who had said that the ultrasound results were not, uh, were not very good. We were told by the doctor that the baby would live anywhere from a few days to potentially a few weeks. So basically that her body was not developed enough and that most likely her heart would stop beating. So when I found out the news that the baby was so sick, all I kept thinking was, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And if I had not read that in the devotional, I don't think that that verse would have been so emblazoned in my heart. The time of waiting was probably the most difficult part of the journey. So every time going to the doctor's appointment and wondering, are they going to tell us that the baby has died or is the baby still going to be alive? The doctors really didn't think she would live very long. But week went on and another week went on and another week went on and her heartbeat was strong and fine. And we knew in our hearts that it would either be a miracle that God would heal our daughter and have her live or that he would take her home and, and have that reason for that and know that she was in heaven. We found out the news that our baby was sick before Thanksgiving. And then we still had the baby at Christmas. After Christmas, I really hadn't felt the baby move very much, which was kind of a normal thing. But it, it was very much kind of a feeling like, I wonder if the baby is gone. So um, we went into the doctor a few days after Christmas, and we found out from the doctor at the ultrasound that the baby's heart had indeed stopped beating. You know, we'd been to so many other appointments, and that was the fateful appointment of realizing that it was now done and that the baby was home to be with the Lord. After we found out that the baby had passed in the womb, you wish that the whole thing would then be over, but then there was still having to deliver the baby. And it was so God's grace because we were scheduled to be induced and that same evening I started contractions on my own. And within six hours of arriving at the hospital, I had delivered the baby. We decided to name the baby Angel Rose, and we named her Angel because Angel means messenger, and we felt like she was our messenger from God. And then we named her Rose because we always want to think of her with beauty. One of the very special things that the hospital did was they put together a memory box for us. The hospital gave us now probably our most precious possession, which is an imprint of her feet that they did in clay. Having Ethan, having a child at home, was such therapy for us in losing a child because we had him to concentrate on and to laugh with and to have fun with. And after losing the baby, there were definitely up days and down days, days where I felt such the comfort and peace of God, and then other days where I just felt horrible. And I remember one of those horrible days was a Sunday and I had turned on the television and the choir was singing, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. So I sat there watching that Turning Point program with tears streaming down my face and just saying, God, I thank you that my child is in heaven and that she is singing holy, holy, holy to you. So the ministry of Turning Point has meant so much to me from Dr. Jeremiah's messages that I listened to on the radio, to reading the magazine, um, to watching the television program, and reminding me over and over again, God's grace is real. For Angel Rose to remember her, we decided to go to the beach and have a memorial service. And we prayed and we sang the song, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. 
And it was very much our hearts like, Lord, we turn our eyes to you. And as we do that, we know that everything else will grow strangely dim in the light of your glory and your grace. We released some balloons in the air to remember Angel Rose and to say goodbye to her and to know that she was in heaven. And it was a wonderful time of closure for us to say, God, she is in heaven. And every time we think of her, we will remember your grace. We will remember the way that you brought us through this, and we will be careful to thank you. And in doing so, we've seen God pour out his grace in our lives every day.